Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. The code, one word, is Dwyer Boxing News to add us on the Roku website. Same thing for iTunes. Also, for monthly picks, monthly subscriptions to uh, things like basketball picks and football picks, give us a look at Dwyer Sports Betting, the YouTube channel. That's three words. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, one of the laments that uh, people have about the heavyweight division, in fact, the top of the heavyweight division for several years, has been the absence of combination punching. Right? Vladimir Klitschko does a lot of things well. He can knock you out with either hand. He has one of the sport's best jabs. But he's not a guy who's going to put together a lot more than an Emmanuel Stewart inspired one two. Right? He likes to soften you up with the jab, then he likes to come with the right hand. Right? I did notice in the Kubrat Pulev fight, he does lead with the left hand. That's a recent development for him, right? But what he's not going to do is throw the kind of combination that Marius walked through that took out Christian Hammer a few years ago. Now, I've posted that fight in my favorites folder here online. Just know this, right? One of the premier combination punches at heavyweight other than Brian Jennings, and let's give Jennings credit. He throws combinations. Other than Brian Jennings, one of the premier combination punchers in the heavyweight division is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can throw great combinations. He's a big man, but he can let his hands go. Now, in my opinion, that's the difference between himself and Christian Hammer. Right? Hammer is a guy who, quite frankly waits for openings if you throw a combination at him he might be able to block the first few punches of the combination but if you keep that combination going he's gonna be in trouble look at the Marius walk right hand tucked in the middle of that combination look at how flush it hits Christian Hammer in other words when the fight hits a certain speed limit Hammer, who prefers a slower, more methodical fight, like his fight against Danny Williams, Hammer falls apart. In my opinion, Tyson Fury can actually fight fast. Fury can do a lot of things, right? He can beat you up close, leaning on you, like he did against Steve Cunningham. He can fight you lefty. He can fight you righty from distance. He can also step up on you throw combinations with big punches tucked in the middle of the combination. I think Tyson Fury, simply put, is a different level than Christian Hammer. Let me go one step further. I made a year-end video here a few videos back. And many of you said, hey, how come you didn't mention Tyson Fury? It's because I believe Vladimir Klitschko is going to take the easy road, right? Keep in mind, he has a fight set against Brian Jennings. Even though Fury is his mandatory for one of his belts, I think like Carl Frotch with regard to James DeGale, I believe Vladimir Klitschko understands that Fury would be a very difficult opponent. Let's just put it this way. In my opinion, Fury has more boxing skills than Vladimir Klitschko. I know people are wincing on that line. When is the last time you saw Vladimir Klitschko fight inside on a guy like Fury did against not just Steve Cunningham, but Derek Chisora in the first fight? When's the last time you saw Vladimir Klitschko decide to fight Southpaw? from the outside, throw a right jab and look convincing. Like Tyson Fury did against both Kevin Johnson and Derek Chisora in the Chisora rematch. Let me point out too, 
Fury Scary. He's in his mid-twenties. He looks a lot better switching against Derek Chisor in this last fight than he did against Kevin Johnson. In other words, he's getting better and better. Let me just say, if I'm Vladimir Klitschko, I take the easy route. Right? The guy just became a father. Right? After I take out Brian Jennings, I then say, okay, I'm going to take on the winner of Bermaine Stavern, Deontay Wilder. Who can accuse him of ducking? Right? He has to fight some of these guys, right? The winner of Wilder, Stavern, who I believe would be very beatable by Klitschko. Either way, right? I don't think Wilder has the skills to keep up with Klitschko from the outside, right? Stavern is too slow-footed. I believe both are easier marks for Vladimir Klitschko than Tyson Fury, right? Let's just say if Klitschko fights Fury, Klitschko's not going to do so in the United Kingdom because that would be too dangerous. But yet Klitschko was traveling to the United States to fight Brian Jennings, right? Understand Fury is real competition, right? I know Fury comes across as a bit unstable at press conferences, sure. I'll even agree with those of you who feel that Fury has the second best jab in his own family, right? Because Yugi Fury has one of the best jabs in boxing, right? I'll agree with that statement too. But this guy's a world-class fighter. He's the man who could easily be king. I'm expecting the reigning heavyweight champion to dodge him because he's too dangerous. If Vladimir Klitschko decides to fight Tyson Fury, trust me, that fight's going to be in Klitschko's backyard, right? Whether that's in Germany, at some K2 favored place, whether that's in the Ukraine, I think it would be too risky for Vladimir Klitschko to fight Tyson Fury on British soil. I do. I believe Tyson Fury is that good. So when I look at a Tyson Fury, Christian Hammer fight, even knowing that Hammer destroyed Danny Williams, right? Let's face it, Danny Williams is down multiple times in that fight. I'll concede, Hammer has a big punch. But the fight I want you to look at is that Marius Walk fight. Look at how Hammer hits the canvas. Let's just say... Hammer's hand speed is what it is. Hammer's defense is what it is. He doesn't have the skills or the height of Tyson Fury. I don't believe he defensively is going to be able to deal with Fury combinations. I like Tyson Fury big over Christian Hammer. In fact, quite frankly, as I see it, Tyson Fury is one of the most dangerous men in the sport of boxing. Right? If you don't believe me, let's just watch how Vladimir Klitschko goes about ducking Tyson Fury. I believe the men have sparred against each other. Right? I'm guessing it's going to look as bad as the efforts Carl Frotch is going through right now to duck James DeGale. Keep in mind, it's so bad in the Frotch case that one of the sanctioning bodies has said, hey, we fully expect you to fight James DeGale. Right? I'm guessing Carl Frosch will announce that he's fighting somebody who's not James DeGale, probably Chavez Jr., within the next few days. Right? Understand. Vladimir Klitschko is a man with choices. I don't care what other pieces of vinyl they give to anybody else in the heavyweight division. We, the fans, know who the heavyweight champion is. It's Vladimir Klitschko. If any of these heavyweights want legitimacy, they're going to have to fight Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko has a date set up with Brian Jennings. right? So it's hard to call him out right now. Jennings is an unbeaten fighter. Right? After that fight against Jennings, 
Klitschko has a choice. He could pivot toward easy money, right? The Bermain Stavern Deontay Wilder winner. Or he could pivot toward a difficult opponent <laughs> who, you know, talks a lot of smack, right? Who also isn't known in the public more than the other guys, right? There's a group in the public that sees Bermain Stavern's chaos, that looks at Deontay Wilder's chaos, and doesn't realize that, especially in Wilder's case, Wilder would look bad in the ring against Tyson Fury, right? So I'm expecting in calendar year 2015, Vladimir Klitschko to wisely avoid Tyson Fury, right? I hope I'm wrong. If Klitschko fights Fury in the latter part of 2015, I have a hard time believing that any fight in calendar year 2015 will be better than that. Right? That's a real fight with a reigning heavyweight champion against really the most significant opponent in recent memory, certainly since David Hay. That's how I see it. Let me hear how you see it. I understand people think I'm too bullish on Tyson Fury. I understand people think I'm way too bullish on James DeGale. I understand people think I'm way too bullish on Terrence Crawford. Great. Express that criticism here in the comment section to that video, to this video. I'm just here to tell you, Tyson Fury's the real deal. Cut off the ring on Steve Cunningham, I'll agree. There are moments in Tyson Fury fights where you wonder what's going on, like when he gets dropped by Steve Cunningham, right? Let's just say I don't expect that here against Christian Hammer. I like Tyson Fury over Christian Hammer, Really, I'm not thinking about Christian Hammer when I think about Tyson Fury's future. I'm thinking about Vladimir Klitschko. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.